this sensual and anti-moralistic attitude exploded in Swinburne and Pater. William Pater, an artistic critic, became the leader of the aesthetic movement and he always looked for beauty. In one of his works, Studies in the History of the Renaissance, 1873, he tried to define beauty as the research for special emotions and as the detachment from daily pragmatic reality. The emotions are momentary and immediate, but the purpose of life is to burn always with his art, gem-like flame, and to maintain this ecstasy. Here, an extract from studies in the history of Renaissance. Here's a passage from Walter Pater from his book, The Renaissance. It's from the section, the very last section, the conclusion. We are all under the sentence of death, but with a sort of indefinite reprieve. We have an interval, and then our place knows us no more. Some spend this interval in listlessness, some in high passions. The wisest, at least among the children of this world, in art and song. For our one chance lies in expanding that interval, in getting as many pulsations as possible into the given time. Great passions may give us this quickened sense of life, ecstasy and sorrow of love, the various forms of enthusiastic activity, disinterested or otherwise, which come naturally to many of us. Only be sure it is passion, that it does yield you this fruit of quickened, multiplied consciousness. Of this wisdom, the poetic passion, the desire of beauty, the love of art for art's sake, has most. For art comes to you proposing frankly to give nothing but the highest quality to your moments as they pass, and simply for those moments' sake. 